Okay, well now that those uh, chimes are over, hello there you guys, Crystal here. Um, apologies if I sound a little bit tired, I did pretty much just wake up. How are you guys doing today? So you may be wondering, Crystal, why why are we here? You don't usually, you know, upload these things on Sundays. Well, I was uh, minding my own business and then something kind of caught my eye and I was not expecting this this early. <laughs> I honestly, I had plans to be like, hey guys, within the next few episodes, hey guys, we're going to go talk to Isabel, see how we're doing in terms of public works projects and flowers and trees and stuff like that. We're going to start aiming for the perfect town. And then that happened. <laughs> I really, I wanted to show you guys and now I don't get the chance. Anyways, watering it will do nothing. It can't wilt. Actually, hmm, can they wilt? I don't think they can. And they can be trampled, I know that much. They can almost be picked up, that kind of stuff. Um, but beyond that, they cannot breed together, so if I get another one, it won't really do me much. Um, they are useful for making hybrids, though, so we'll, uh, we'll just leave that there for now. I just want to, you know, preserve it in its natural state. Um, but in the meantime, though, we should probably go talk to Isabel. I figured I wanted to do this on camera with you guys the day that it actually happened, rather than tell you the day after. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I think it's citizen satisfaction. You want to know how satisfied the citizens of Rosewith are? Sure thing, here's what the citizen satisfaction committee had to say. Why, it's amazing, and I truly mean that. This town is simply the best. They've clearly worked very hard. This old man is really pleased. The survey also says, uh, also says the citizens of Rosewith feel it's the best town ever. They never want to leave. Mayor Crystal, you've finally done it. Everyone loves Rosewolf. All right, let me let me take a screenshot of that because I need that for reasons. <laughs> On behalf of the Citizen Satisfaction Committee, I'd like to thank you for all of your hard work. In addition, the committee would like to propose a few special public works projects. I'd like to remodel the town hall and also build a new flower clock. If you're interested in either of these, please consider them for upcoming public works projects. And there you have it. So, um. If you're unaware, we have to maintain this perfect town for 15 days in order to get the golden watering can, which I'm definitely going to be aiming for. Um, but beyond that, I'm not really interested in the town hall remodels. I don't really like them. I like the standard one. But I do want to do this flower clock if we can. Uh, start a new project, please. We can take a look at them, though. So there, I think it's just called like the people just call it the Zen one because it goes with like the Zen theme, fairy tale one, and I guess it's modern. Uh, I'm not really interested in any of these to be very honest with you guys. Okay, let's see here. I actually found out by the way I can put that down uh, in that space I was talking about. I was just being silly. Um, there it is, eighty-seven thousand bells. So I can actually pay that off today. Um, but, I don't know, I mean, you know what, eh. I'm not sure if I will. We'll see, we'll see. Would you like to start for work on the pop- Oh, the blah 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 flower clock project. As I said, you guys, I am so tired. I just woke up. I just- I, I turned- I rolled over pretty much. I picked up my 3DS and I'm like, alright, let's do my daily chores and, and buy turnips and stuff like that. And then this happened. Ooh. Those pink trees look really nice next to the uh, town hall. Anyway, excuse me. Oh gosh, bam. Bam. <laughs> Isabella's just kind of plowing right through you there, buddy. Okay, so this is the place where I've said I really want the flower clock for quite a while now. It's been set out like that for a very long time. Let's see if, if she's all right with it. She should be, but... Now to get her to put down right on that spot. I think she got it. Perfect. First try. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's actually really good that she just, you know, had no issues with it. Okay, well, there we go. Um... 
so I'm gonna change the flowers that are around it. I forgot exactly what the flower cost looked like. I have it in my other town, but like it's the sort of thing that I very rarely even, you know, look at it. So I think I want these around it. Just because I don't know what else they're doing here. <laughs> uh, how much space do I have? I'm carrying a lot of, you know, daily chore type stuff. Which, by the way, I don't know if I'm going to be buying turnips today like I mentioned earlier. They're selling for like 110 each and that is a bit rich for my blood. At least, you know, right now. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and I'm going to start moving some of these. I don't really have a set place for them. Uh, so I might just toss them up here for now, just for, you know... Oh, watch it. That doesn't really free up much space, does it? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, okay, time to find another place. <laughs> You know what? No, that's this rock there. I hate that rock. Eh, I probably won't keep them here, but uh, it's an empty space. And then I think, yes, there's some other... Uh, what are these again? Pansies? No. Cosmos? I always get those confused. Don't know why. There we go. Just for now. Um, I didn't count how many we needed... To, oh, you're wearing O'Hare's shirt. I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind that on him. That's actually not bad. <laughs> Out of all the things he could have chosen to wear, that is not bad at all. Oops, nope, they're over here. But yeah, I'm very happy we got Perfect Town. I was, like, technically, I feel like I could have got it much, much faster, but I haven't obviously been playing uh, nearly as much as I would have if this was, like, you know, a, a private town. Uh... I tend to save my play sessions for days that I'm recording, therefore I, you know, go a bit slower. But, uh, oops. But I'm still very, very happy that we managed to get it, um, without even trying- I'm trying to think. I don't think the roost counts as a public works project, I'm not entirely sure about that, for the purposes of the perfect town. But we have bridges. Uh, we have two lamp posts, we have a fountain, we have a bench, we have a clock, which is not staying there. Uh, and I think that's it. Like, I don't feel like we have enough stuff, you know what I mean? The flowers, sure, I, I can get that. The trees, yeah, we have a lot of trees, but public works projects? Eh. I don't know if we... I don't, I don't feel like we've met this criteria. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna have enough to fully, fully cover it, but I'll water a couple of these and see if we can't breed uh, a couple more of them just for the sake of the clock. Um, but yeah, you know what? Since I'm here, I don't know exactly know how long this, whoops, this episode is gonna last. Uh, just because this is very impromptu and we're not doing our normal stuff. But uh, I figure, you know what? Why, do, why don't we just pay it off today? Um, I probably do have the funds in my bank account, I guess, so why not? Um, I think it was, what, 87,000? I just read it, like, five minutes ago, but I've already forgotten. Um, okay, should probably get back to repaying that loan. Uh, alright, so 80... was it 87? 84? 87,000 is what I'm gonna go with. Okay. Oh, there's Robin. <laughs> Um, okay, so... Lloyd is on this side. <laughs> uh, gosh, look at his arms just flailing wildly. Um, yeah, 87,000. I'll just pay that off in full, my good sir. Because we are clearly rolling in the dough, except we're not at all. 
Um. <laughs> Right, awesome. So there it is. Um, let me water just a couple of these. These are in bad spots for breeding hybrids anyway, but that's okay. These ones are on a bit of a better side because there's a little bit more space for uh, new flowers to, I guess, spawn in. There we go. So if we keep this up, we may indeed actually get the golden watering can before the silver one, which would be kind of interesting. Uh, I think I've done that in one of my towns before, actually, but yeah. This is good. This is really awesome, actually. I was gonna... <laughs> I was just gonna have a normal day, you know, buy my turnips, go play in my other town, then film the Sunday vlog day, but this happened, so this is really great. Um... Yeah, I'm very happy about this. Thank you guys, by the way, for those who came to the stream yesterday. And if you couldn't make it, it is uploaded to YouTube now, so you guys can actually go see it. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. This is just kind of like an extra episode I did for The Perfect Town, just because it was, you know, happened to be found on an off day. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.